My first premiere as artistic director is Our Voices. There's different ways for directors to program. Sometimes you do a very harmonic program in one dance style representing a certain choreographer. Here I want our audience to move through three sublime, very diverse worlds. I like three-dimensional experiences, so the idea that there's something for your ears, for your eyes, for your soul, that this, this program should be able to touch everyone in their own way. We're going to be celebrating classicism with Balanchine's theme and variations, which is just a timeless masterpiece. It's regal, it's sophisticated, it's elegant, it's exciting. And especially the finale when everyone comes on stage, all the couples at the end. And that's really such a wonderful piece to present our whole company. Newly designed sets and costumes by Roberto Guidi di Bagno. And everything that you would hope and want in classical ballet. The other two pieces on the program are world premieres. You just slip into a, a completely different world, which is Andrea Miller's new creation of Les Nos, Stravinsky's Les Nos. That is an epic score. It's going to have chorus from Opera Hall and Park on our stage, four vocal singers, a new set design by Dame Philida Barlow. Andrea is from a very different background. She's from Juilliard, danced in Batsheva. It's a very modern vocabulary. It's more grounded, it's more physical. Andrea's idea is that it's sort of set after sacra, so we've had a sacrifice and you're looking to reap the rewards of the harvest for the new year and all the positivity that's coming, and perhaps that doesn't come. This piece will not be a piece that you just simply watch and think, oh, this is, you know, nice and pretty. This is going to be something that causes you to think you're watching something engaging in it. And then the last piece is Richard Strauss's Four Last Songs by British choreographer David Dawson. David's not so present in the UK and is one of the most celebrated young neoclassical choreographers in the world today. So I'm really happy to be bringing him home. David's choreography is very sweeping and moving, beautiful partnering, pas de deux, beautiful style. Four Last Songs is just such a transcendental score. It should be something that you just can slip into another universe and really float through and hopefully feel, leave feeling so inspired. Our Voices, I picked that title because I do want it to represent the kind of individual voices but the, the unique collective voice that we have as a group as well and also representing the voices of dance today and the, the, the voices that are going to sing this program. We could have a whole other conversation just about the music on this program. It's, this is a hugely rich orchestral program. I believe it's one of the biggest programs that EMB's ever done in the size of the orchestra and also with all the vocal singers. Tchaikovsky's theme and variations is just beautiful music it, and it's the kind of music that you'll leave the theater and the tunes will all be in your head. If you take Stravinsky's Les Nos as the composition and the score, it's a completely different beast. It's massive, it's so substantial. This year marks the 100th year anniversary of Les Nos. I could imagine when that was premiered in the day, this must have been like so, you know, mind blowing for the people to hear this music. I remember hearing it the first time and I actually danced Bronislav Nijinska's version in the Dutch National Ballet. And the score by itself is also a timeless masterpiece. It's just amazing to hear and then to be on stage and dancing to that music is like an extra joy for anyone. Another interesting aspect is Les Nos has been sung traditionally mostly in Russian and French and I danced it always in the Russian version and I was imagining the words were so profound and intellectual and poetic and we're going to sing it in English and when you hear it sung in English it takes on a very different meaning. 
whole different atmosphere to the piece. And for Last Songs by Richard Strauss, it's the 75th anniversary. I'm from Dresden. The Staatskapelle is renowned for Four Last Songs. Richard Strauss was the, the, the conductor of our orchestra there. So he, I always assumed that Four Last Songs was created and premiered in Germany, and then reading that Four Last Songs was actually premiered at the Royal Albert Hall in London. It's such a genius work, and you're starting with spring and the joy of youth and all the future and hope, um, and you going through the different songs to death, and then sort of in my mind how the circle of life reincarnating and going through that circle again with new people, but all the experiences. The third song is particularly one of the most beautiful compositions I think I've ever heard. You could practically close your eyes and just go through the program with your ears, but when you open your eyes and see the visual, I think that combination is gonna be quite euphoric and beautiful. So I'm hoping that people will really get an idea of, wow, okay, this is what ENB is all about.